and we continue with Pax Wardrobe series and in this part, part 2, I will show you how to install wire basket drawer for Pax Wardrobe shelves, trousers hanger and the hanging rail. If you like to see previous parts, I did divider for Pax Wardrobe and in the next part, part 3, I will show you everything about the hinge doors, how to install the hinges, how to align the doors properly if they are not lining up and what to do with the frames before to avoid any problems with the hinges later on. Let's do part 2 now. This is what you're getting in a box for the mesh basket or for the wire basket. So you get two rails, um, one left, one right, a few screws and some plastics for the wire basket. And uh, there is three screws for each rail. So you get four of these, so two and two, one top and one bottom one. They're gonna go at the back of the basket. We're going to see there is a three holes already, so put the top part in and try to click the bottom one in. Sometimes it's hard, so you may need to use the pliers. It's hard to click it in, so just take a small pliers and uh, click it all together. Exactly the same on the other side. Just place the top part. If the bottom go nicely in, sometimes it goes without a problem. Sometimes you cannot do it, so just take uh, pliers and press it. It's gonna click, you're gonna hear it, that's how it's supposed to be. This is the rail, so there's a bottom and a top part. You see the bottom is closed and the top is open. You have this uh, sliding space where you're gonna slide the drawer in or the basket in. See on the underside it doesn't have that open cut space, so don't make mistake. If you put them upside down, you're not gonna be able to slide the wire basket in. So we can put them in place and it's gonna be, uh, we're gonna have six of these, so three for the each rail. The sixth hole, don't count the first one at the bottom too low because of the divider. So we have three screws, just secure them in. That's how the rail should be. Exactly the same on the other side is a sixth hole. Just place the first one in, find the line there. Sixth hole on the middle and sixth hole at the back. Place the screws and you have the rails already installed. So if you did everything right, you should be okay to slide the drawer in. You see I'm going a little bit from the top and then I slide it in. So first that plastic have to come into the space what I was pointing at the beginning. Just slide it in and then push the wire basket in. It should go nice and smooth. If you cannot put it in, probably you put the rails upside down. Now we're gonna have the drawer for the pack wardrobe. This is all the pieces what you're gonna have in the box. There is two rails, two covers for rails, few screws and all the fittings. And now we can prepare the side panels. So you get two side panels, one left, one right. So put two wooden plugs on the middle, one on each of them. And then you can place the locks. This is the plastic locks. It has small arrow on one side, so point that arrow to the hole. Don't do it the other way around, otherwise you're not going to be able to lock the side panels into the front panel. See there is the hole and there is the lock at the front. Now we have this done, we can take a screws, you're going to need two screws on each side for the front panel. Just place, just secure it in, don't go deeper than the stopper or higher. Otherwise, you're going to have a problem to put the side panel in and to lock it in place. So this is the side panel. It has small gap and there is a gap on the front panel as well. So they're going to line up nicely and the locks are from the inner side. Let's find the holes and place it all in. Once you don't have any gap, you're in the right spot and just secure the locks. Twist the lock to the right side and the panel is secure. This one is a bit tricky, it has some kind of funny gap on the side, so you have to do exactly the same as I'm doing it here. You see, I'm pushing it out from my side and place the gap in the gap. If you break this, you're gonna have a hard time to push that in. So just slowly move, uh, do the small movement and press on the panel. Just press it down while you're moving. Once you're in, you're gonna feel it, it's gonna be easy to push it into the line in the side panel. If it goes hard, just try to press it and uh, do this movement in and out. Once it's in, it's gonna be easy to move in. That's how it's supposed to be. You push it to the gap, 
in the side panel. Now we can place the second side panel, just slide it down and find those holes. If you cannot push it in, just bump it a little bit from the side and then you can push it into the hole easily. Once the gap close, you can put the top panel in, exactly the same you see I'm going from the side, slow movement up and down and slowly gap come into the gap. Now secure the locks from inside, twist it to the, to the right side and you have the side panel secure. Now we're gonna secure the back panel, there is those two plastic plugs, so it's a two on each side, just place it in and secure it with a hammer. Exactly the same on the other side, place it in and it's done. Now you have this kind of metal washer with the plastic, it's a kind of plastic lock which is gonna hold the hold the drawer in place so it's not gonna pop out. You can place that in just with the hand or you can bump it a little bit with the hammer but this one going in quite nicely and it's the second hole from the front. Twist it out a little bit. You're gonna have two screws for each uh, rail. So this is the rail, you see the hook that's at the back of the rail. So that's how it's gonna go in. This is the other one, exactly the same. Now you can put this cover for the rail. One have the bigger spike, so the bigger spike coming at the front, and you can place the screw in. So you basically kind of connect the cover with the rail before you're gonna install it. It's easier this way, at least I find it easier this way. I need to do them one by one. And you can just secure the screw to the side panel of the wardrobe. Exactly the same at the back. Find the line and secure the second uh, screw in and we're gonna do exactly the same on the other side so the bigger spike of the on the plastic cover is at the front screw through the plastic to the rail and to the wardrobe secure it and exactly the same at the back through the plastic to the wardrobe sorry to the rail and to the wardrobe now you can open the rail and you can place the drawer in so there is those two hooks at the back you see they have to pop into the drawer on the back side if you're not gonna be in, you're not gonna be able to put the drawer down in a place at the front. So make sure the back is in and the front come nicely in. You see here I have a problem, so probably the back the back hook is not hooked at the back. So I'm gonna have to open it up again and push the hook at the back in and then I'm gonna be able to lock it in place at the front. There it is, the bag is fine now, so I'm able to place the front in. Check the other side as well, if you have to do it again, because sometimes it's popping out, and secure the lock. Just twist the lock at the straight position, and that's how it's securing the drawer. Exactly the same on the other side. Once you hooked in, just place the plastic over, and it's all secured. Check if it's move, uh, movement in and out. If yes, you did everything right. Now we're gonna have uh, shelves. This is the easiest one from all these. So they have just the plastic cover, take it out. There's uh, six of those plastics, which they gonna secure the shelf. It's a six on each uh, shelf. So place them in where you want it. In this case, we're gonna have two shelves on the top of each other, one on top of the drawer, one bit higher. So three on each side of the shelf. So six for one shelf. When you have it all in, just place the shelf in, find those holes and you can secure the plastic. This is not securing the shelf, it's just making the plastic stronger, uh, securing the plastic in a, in a right place. And exactly the same for the second shelf. Just place it in where you desire. And now I'm gonna have to take a drawer because I don't have space to secure the screws. So if you have a space, you can do it straight away. If you have something in place, take it out, secure the screws, and then we can position the drawer back in. There it is, exactly the same position the drawer as we did it before. Smooth, there it is, all done. Now, we're gonna have the pull-out trousers hanger. This is one box, you're gonna have two rails with it. The trousers hanger and there is gonna be a few screws this one is a bit tricky when you're gonna do it that's the screws you're gonna have four long screws four four thick washers and four small screws now we're gonna prepare the rail first so it's gonna be a first hole depend where you're looking from left or right 
check in instructions which holidays this is quite important and then the place the washer on the top of it i find it easy this way to install it because you can go straight on the hole with the screwdriver ready so it's the washer is not going to pop out from the screws to secure it on the middle first now find the hole through the rail you're going to have to close the rail find the hole where you're going to go and put the washer under it you see got the washer ready under so the washer is between the rail and the water drop and then you push the screw through this hole once you close the rail because the rail is not extending that much so you're gonna have to close the rail and secure it through this hole once you're done check if it's nice and smooth moving in and out and you can do the second one do exactly the same check which hole it is in instruction place the washer prepare your drill by the way those electric screwdrivers are very useful you can check them out in the description what I'm using exactly especially the small one in small spaces like this is fantastic okay second one there is the washer just place it in exactly as the previous one place it in a hole and put the screw through the hole you see there it is that's how it goes and secure the screws you see that small screwdriver it go everywhere the battery is lasting forever as well Okay, now it's running nice and smooth both sides, so we can uh, slowly place the washer. This is the small locking screws for the for the hanger. There is four holes, two on each side. You're gonna secure that um, hanger with the uh, with the rail. So you can prepare the screws. There is the Allen key which is in the box. You can just put the screw on. It's a bit hard to access here but you can make it just find the hole on the rail and secure it through the hanger to the rail so you have those two ready at the front and now we can do exactly the same at the back place it in nicely find the hole and secure it once you secure it tidy it up properly so the hanger is nice and steady inside and it's uh, moving nicely in and out once it goes smooth you did everything right last one is gonna be hanging rail you're gonna have the hook and the instructions and the screws are hidden in the hook so shake it out there it is we have those screws four screws in there in the instructions and you can prepare it to put it on plastic and secure it secure them the how high you want it it depends what you want to hang and just secure it with these two screws one side and do the exactly the same on the other side and just secure it with these two screws there it is this one is quite simple only I find uh, when you put in the hook sometimes it's a bit hard to uh, press it in so just go slowly here take your time there it is that's how it's supposed to click on one side and then you have to do other side as well you see there is the hole and it have to come into that spot on the other side where the arrow is pointing just click it wait for the sound one two and that's how it is that's it for part two and see you guys in a part three as i mentioned i'm gonna show you everything about the hinge door how to install the hinges how to adjust the doors and what to do before how to prepare the frame so you don't have a problem with the adjustment of the doors uh, too much at the end thank you for watching have a fantastic day and see you in a part three